to visit churches all over the world, but because of the circumstances we are all facing, I too must practice social distancing. So, I come to you through your technological devices, Herald, the most famous donkey in all of Jerusalem, across the screens of the world. Yes, that does sound nice. Well, let me get to it and tell you my story. Jesus and I go way back. In fact, I come from a long line of famous donkeys that have been with Jesus throughout his life. I am here to tell you my story. Are you ready? I can't hear you. Oh, good. I heard you. Yay. Well, one day I was minding my own business, eating some grass as I do, and all of a sudden, two men approached me. They started to untie me from my post. As I was just getting ready to say to them, Sir, what are you doing? My owner appeared and asked the question before I had the chance to. Guess what their reply was? They said, the Lord needs me. Yes, you heard that right. The Lord needed me. So I dutifully walked with them. Then I remembered something I had heard in the scriptures a while ago. It said something like, See your king comes to you, gentle, and riding on a donkey. And I said to myself, Self? This Jesus fellow must be the king. He must be the Lord, and he is going to ride on me. These two men that found me, well, they called themselves disciples, and they were getting ready to meet Jesus, and they put their cloaks over my back. Jesus came from the place he was staying, and he hopped on my back. I started walking very proudly with Jesus on my back, as we were entering Jerusalem city, which was a very busy place, people started coming out from everywhere, putting their cloaks on the road. They also put palm branches on the road. I did not take a single step on the dirt. The people were shouting all sorts of glorious things. Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. As we entered Jerusalem, people were talking amongst themselves, asking, Who is this? Those following Jesus gave a joyous cheer that this is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. I saw the Pharisees out of the corner of my eye. They were not happy. They did not like all the attention Jesus was getting. I could tell Jesus knew this because he said something and a few tears left his eyes. He said, if only the people knew what would bring them peace, they did not recognize the time of God's coming. He said it very quietly, but my long ears could hear him. Jesus did not have much time left on earth after this moment of joyous celebration. So much to happen to this fellow in the next few days. I don't want to spoil the surprise for you. I'm sure you'll be learning all these things throughout the week. Well, before I go, I must tell you that when Jesus got off my back, he came around, looked me in the eye, patted me on the head, and said, Thank you, friend. 
This was so special to me. I could see that Jesus loved and cared for me. He cared for me, a donkey. I want you to know that Jesus cares for you too. And that is what this whole Easter week is about. God showed us his love and care for his people in the biggest way possible. All right, I must be going. Happy Palm Sunday, friends. Enjoy this holy week. That's all from me, Harold, the most famous donkey in all of Jerusalem. <laughs>